Welcome, I'm Joshy, and in this playthrough of Marvel Champions the card game, we have Hulk versus Norman Osborn in the risky business scenario. Uh, so if we look at our setup, we put Criminal Enterprise Environment into play, and then we shuffle the encounter deck. I mean, we'll give it a shuffle now anyway. So we can see here, when Criminal Enterprise enters play, we put two per player infamy counters on it. If there are no infamy counters here, we flip Norman Osborne and Criminal Enterprise over. So we'll put two counters on it. And here we have Norman Osborne. So as a forced interrupt, when he would attack, we place one infamy counter on Criminal Enterprise instead. And forced interrupt, when he would take any amount of damage, we remove that many infamy counters from Criminal Enterprise instead. So we actually need to remove infamy counts from Criminal Enterprise to flip Norman over, at which point he'll turn into the Green Goblin, and then we can do damage to defeat him. Uh, when we reveal Green Goblin Stage 1, he will deal three indirect damage to each player in hero form. And there's a force interrupt when he would scheme, we remove one Madness counter from the set of Madness instead, which will be the other side of Criminal Enterprise. All right. So we'll advance to Stage 1B. Hostile takeover, we have the flavor text, Norman Osborn holds a board meeting, plotting to take over a branch of Stark Industries. And when this completes, we place uh, one per player infamy counters on Criminal Enterprise, then discard one card from each player's deck for inch, each infamy counter on Criminal Enterprise. This threat's out at seven, and it starts with two threat per player, so. It's out two. All right, we'll draw up our hand, and we're playing Hulk and Aggression for this one. We have a counter attack. Power of Aggression, Hulk Smash, Thunderclap, and a Drop Kick. Uh, going to hold on to the Drop Kick, Power of Aggression, and the Hulk Smash, and just see what we get from our Mulligan. Suborbital Leap. And another drop kick. All right. We'll use our experimental research ability. Action, draw one card and choose and discard one card from your hand. Limit once per round. We have Banner's Lab. We'll throw that away. Flip up to Hulk. We will use a power regression for two resources. And Suborbital Leap for another resource. Do a Drop Kick, which will deal four damage to an enemy. If you pay for this card using only uh, Fist resources, which we did because we can count the Power of Aggression as physical resources, stun the enemy and draw one card. So we do the Drop Kick. Just going to remove two from uh, Criminal Enterprise. We'll flip it, um, and then set of madness enters play with uh, two madness counters. And we also flip Osborne to Goblin, and when he's revealed, we deal three indirect damage to each player in hero form. So we got three damage on Hulk, but. We stun him, stun Goblin, and draw a card, which is a crushing blow. We will swing for three on Hulk, knock Goblin down to 11. We'll then use a physical resource for a crushing blow, uh, which is deal damage to an enemy equal to your attack. So that'll be another three. Taking him down to eight. We'll throw away a Hulk smash because we can't keep any cards when we're in Hulk form. And we'll ready up and draw four cards. A Limitless Stamina, Boundless Rage, Yarnborn, and a Skilled Strike. All right, so one threat goes on the main scheme. And 
Green Goblin would go to attack us, but he's stunned. Get our encounter card. It's a hide gun. When revealed, choose to either give the villain one face down boost card or place two infamy counters on Criminal Enterprise. Criminal Enterprise is not in play, so we're going to have to give Goblin a face down boost card for his next activation. All right. Let us spend one. Actually, we'll spend Boundless Rage. Put Yamba one to play, which is uh, after your hero attacks an enemy, spend a physical resource, deal two damage to an enemy. We will then swing for three to knock out the hide gun. We will spend one resource for a limit, limitless stamina to ready Hulk and swing for another three on Green Goblin. Taking him down to five. And we're ready up and draw four cards. Got a clobber, another clobber, counterattack, and a skilled strike. All right. We get one threat on the main scheme. Goblin will attack us uh, for base three plus two boost cards. We will take it. So he's taking us for. One, place one infamy counter on criminal enterprise. If you cannot, remove one madness counter from it. And then we also have it again. If uh, place one infamy, if you cannot, remove one madness counter. So we've lost our madness counters, which means state of madness will flip. And once again, this comes in with two on criminal enterprise, which flips Green Goblin. And then as a result, his attack now becomes zero plus these two boosts. So we'll be taking two damage. We get an encounter card. Collapsing bridge. So this comes in with a crisis icon, so we can't remove threat from the main scheme. And yeah, it'll come in with two threat. Okay. We're going to spend two resources to do a clobber which is deal three, three damage to an enemy. If this is the first card you've played this round, which it is, return this card to your hand. So we'll knock down Criminal Enterprise again by doing the three damage. Just gonna put State of Madness in play. Goblin comes into play and deals us three indirect damage. We are then going to Attack Goblin for three, plus a skilled strike to make it uh, plus two for the attack. So when your hero makes base attack, gets plus two for that attack. Still five damage. Just going to take us through stage one of Goblin. So when revealed, Green Goblin deals four indirect damage to each player. So one, two, three, taking us down to six. And he comes in with 18 hit points. Now, after your hero attacks an enemy, we can spend a physical resource to deal two damage to an enemy. So we'll do that. Taking down to 16. We will now flip down to Bruce Banner and ready. 
We will draw five cards. We have a plan B, a limitless stamina, skilled strike, limitless stamina, and a thunderclap. All right. We get one threat on the main scheme. Uh, Green Goblin goes to Scheme. When he would Scheme, remove one Madness counter from State of Madness instead. And now we get our encounter card. All in a day's work. Place two Infamy counters in Criminal Enterprise. If you cannot, remove two Madness counters from State of Madness. So, remove the counter. Going back to the Criminal Enterprise. Back to Norman. We've got our two counters on there again. All right. We're going to recover four. Take us up to 10. We'll flip up to Hulk. Spend a one resource for a limitless stamina to ready our hero. We will attack. Take out the criminal enterprise again. Then the goblin, he deals four indirect damage. Take us down to six. Uh, we will spend one for a limit of stamina again. Ready. Then we will attack and we'll add a skilled strike. When your hero makes base attack, get plus two to the attack for five damage on goblin. Taking him down to 11. And we're ready up. We'll draw four cards. Unstoppable Force. Combat Training. Hand Cannon. Another Hand Cannon. Alright. we got one more threat on the main scheme here. Goblin is going to attack us. We will defend. Going for four plus nothing. We just take the one, get our encounter card, pay off, place one in for me, no, sorry, it's just pay off that comes to the plate, and that comes in with two threat. And we also now get dealt extra encounter card. Okay. We're going to spend two physical resources with Combat Training Hand Cannon to play Unstoppable Force. Ready Hulk. If you paid for this card, use our physical resources, which we did. Draw one card. Suborbital Leap. Uh, We will attack for three. Team down to eight. We'll then throw away, spend a physical resource to do two damage with Yarnborn. And we'll flip down. And we'll throw away, um, we'll throw away the hand cannon. Ready up. Draw five cards, a clobber, crushing blow, stopple force, spider man, and drop kick. All 
All right. We get a threat on here, which means this will scheme out. So when completed, we place uh, one if we count on criminal enterprise, which it's not in play, so we can't do that. Uh, then discard one card from each player's deck for each infamy counter on criminal enterprise. Well, there is none. So, then corporate acquisition. With a branch of Stark Industries under his control, Norman Osborne will gain access to deadly technologies and quadruple the manufacturing capabilities of Oscorp. Advance to stage 2B. So, if Norman Osborne succeeds, nothing will stand in the way of his technological domination. This comes in with one threat. Skims out 10 and it's given us an, even another additional encounter card. All right. So, Goblin's turn. He, he would go to Scheme, but he doesn't. So, he removes one Madness counter. Now we get our encounter cards, which will be three encounter cards. As Gang Up, which this card gains Surge because of an alter ego. The Hard Gun. Choose to either give them one face down boost card or place two infamy counters criminal enterprise. We can't, so he'll get a boost card. We've got another payoff. And get the boost by player. All right, change form. So we flip to Hulk, and then if you're in Hulk, we just exhaust our hero and discard this obligation. Not quite what I wanted. Okay, but we shall spend a physical resource to do a crushing blow to deal damage to an enemy equal to your attack. We'll do it to Goblin, three. We'll then spend two physical resources for Unstoppable Force. So Ready Hulk, if you pay for this card using our physical resources, draw one card, which we will. We get Audacity. Hulk's ready. He attacks for three more. Defeating Green Goblin. So, once again, Hulk, strongest one there is. I uh, defeated Puny Green Goblin. Uh, so hopefully uh, I didn't make any mistakes in that match. Uh, if I did, feel free to point them out to me. If you uh, enjoyed this game, make sure you give it a like and comment and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.